So, hi. Hello. Uh, can you tell me who you are? Yes. <laughs> My name is Arina Bardova and I Arina? Study, yes. I study in the second course uh, in Latvian Music Academy. Um, and today I am going to play uh, two movements from a Bach G minor sonata for violin. And it will be Siciliana and Presto. Great. So, shall I tell you who I am? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm um, Caroline, Caroline Strumpfler. I have been leading the second violins of the Concertgebouw Orchestra for at least 30 years. And um, before that, uh, I studied in Germany, the Netherlands and the USA. And um, I'm a great fan of um, Bach and Baroque playing. And um, I'll see if I can convey some of that to you. I'm really very much formed by um, our former conductor emeritus, uh, Nicolas Hanoncourt. Mm -hmm. You know who he is, yes? Yeah, sure. And uh, so I, I, can, I, I also took lessons with him privately when, um, when I was younger, when, in, when he came to conduct us, we, we did many. Uh, I played for him uh, individually and with my string quartet. So I hope I can, can convey some of his ideas to you in your Bach. Um, 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 let's see uh, how you play and if I can add some ideas to your playing. Yeah, thank you. And may I play two movements uh, through? Yeah. Yeah. Then just play the Siciliana. We start working on that, and then later we'll do okay. the the presto. Okay. Yeah.
Java. Very nice playing. I must say, I can really hear that you're conscious of that you're playing a dance. Yeah, exactly. it's really good. It's really good. Um, what we could still, uh, I think, improve a little bit more. I, I think also in order to even emphasize the dance element of the piece more is to play even less equal, meaning I would still play the bass lines a little louder. Mm -hmm. um, a few other elements I would like to point out to you, but we can later on, I'll stop you and help you find the details, is in the Baroque music, it's um, very common that when you play a primo or an octave, you play longer, particularly primo, secundo, you play longer, more legato, more melodic, and when it's third or quarter or quint or sixth, then you play shorter. Let's see if we can find that and, and the bass line. Let's stay again, uh, start from the beginning. Okay, now, okay, very good. Okay. Um, Sorry, I lost my headphone. Oh, never mind. <laughs> So the first note, I would play even longer and louder. And then, of course, you have a third. So it's good you play that short. I think every time the beginning of a slur, you can play a little longer. Meaning you can still be less equal. Yeah. Okay. Okay, very nice, uh, already better. Now, um, when you go to the bum, bottom, bum, bottom, make sure you play the bottom note a little louder mm -hmm. so you're more into the into the harmonies and not only in the melody yeah. okay okay now one more thing dum, da, dum, da, dee, dee, da. and then maybe dum, da, dee, da, dee, dee, da. it's one movement and then so actually I wasn't correct before. So when you play prim, it is short. When you play secunde, it's long. So it's pam param pam param So this is not, it's not like That's not the phrase, okay? Okay, now good, just start can you play that a little longer? So the beginning of the slur, a little longer. Just start. Okay, so the beginning longer. The first note. Yeah. Now I hear you. 
sorry. So the, you play the first note under the slur a little longer and the second note under the slur a little shorter. That's giving you the dance atmosphere. So, so the first one longer, the second one shorter. You have secunda. Yeah. You can play long. So not te da, but In this way, you have already in the first bar an incredible amount of variations in articulation. This is the second upbeat to the second bar. <laughs> There's a problem with my ear, actually. Ah, uh, never mind. Start once more at the second bar. The first bar, I think, is perfect now. Start the second bar, but the upbeat, E flat. Second bar. Very good. I like it very much. Only thing is, so what's important here is we go from E flat to D, C, B flat. And this scale, I need to hear every, as much, as loud, every note. Tita, 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 And then you could still, when you have this, dum, da -di -di -dum, this one is melodic. This one is long because it's small intervals. So, I still need to hear bottom louder. Okay, mm -hmm. could you start again at the bum, 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 and still play bass notes even louder and longer than you did now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, long, but here those need articulation because these are thirds. Bum, bum, bum. I mean, later when you in the process with the chords. Okay, can you play this once, this bar? Bum, 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 bum. This is the most important. All the all the other things on the top strings is ornaments. Mm -hmm. uh, the fourth bar. Yeah, yeah. 
Once more. Bum, 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 maybe. So always when it is really small steps, when it is secundas, yeah. you can play a little longer, a little more melodic. So for instance, this is long. Um, can you start the upbeat to five again? Um, could you go back to bar seven? is more important. Bum, bum. So bum ba dum bum ba dum bum ba dum bum ba dum. So the the prim you play shorter, the seconde you play longer. So you can start once more da 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 when you do the primus short, the upbeat short, and then the, the secunda song. Now maybe when you move, every time when you move to the bass, you can play like louder. And when you go to the soprano, you can play a little softer. Mm -hmm. 
for instance, in this bar, bar 11. Yeah. Start at the F. Tam, pam, pa, re, di, da. Yet so convinced this bar from of your baseline. Could you start uh, bar twelve? Yeah. Yeah. Just the big lower. Okay. So in bar twelve. B flat, G, E flat, F. It's not coming out enough. Yeah, Could you sure. try that again? Mm -hmm. Okay, do it once more. Mm -hmm. Just this. more. I would like it even more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, try, um, yeah. try exaggerating. Like, pretend I'm somewhere in another country behind the Zoom. <laughs> And I need to understand you, so you have to really make very clear that you're playing extremely well articulated and loud bass. Mm -hmm. Okay? But is it separate from the other voices or, or should I play? Well, like it's just, if you play more thinking from the bass, mm -hmm. it's always very good for Bach. Yeah. And I think for now it, it, it makes the sound richer and it sort of helps you to articulate in a, in a way that mm -hmm. suits the Baroque music better. Of course, it's, it's together and you have a, a soprano too. Yes, that will solve itself, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Could you try there? Yeah. Yeah, could you? Still exaggerate even more, like I'm all the way in Amsterdam and I <laughs> I can't hear you very well. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think basically what I'm saying is can you articulate more? Now we go to the next bar, bar 13. 13. Okay. I really need you to think more that you're, you're a whole string trio by yourself. You're cello, viola and violin. For, for now, I hear you playing the violin. I need you to play more cello and, and viola, okay? Can you start bar 13? Yeah, I will take out my headphone because it's not. <laughs> okay, now. Um, when you're playing four notes, I suggest you concentrate on the middle two. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right now, you don't, 
don't see, your arpeggio doesn't sound very natural and not really um, um, in context of the rest. So try try concentrating on the middle two notes. I still need a little more deeper sound in the bass. Try once more bar bar thirteen, and then with when you have four notes, go more for the middle two. Okay. Mm -hmm. for the bass notes it'll make it you're playing a richer mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be it's only you there's no conductor there's no orchestra take your time for the bass notes play them a little deeper and a little longer go go for go for bass and middle notes more than top notes mm -hmm. try once more uh 15 15 yeah sharp mm -hmm. just try the last three notes thinking of not playing sharp the bass the not the fifth mm -hmm. the b flat and the f yeah just the last three notes Presto, okay? Yeah. I'll probably take out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Very good. The only thing I would not do at the end is this. Yeah. It's always in Baroque music. You would never, what you do, like you do an accent at off the tip of your bow. That's very much Tchaikovsky and not Bach. <laughs> That's another composer. Okay, now the whole thing, you're playing very much here. Huh? I would be more a little bit thinking, thinking of uh, little violins with, with bows like this. Like you see in old paintings in churches, angels in the in the skies, and not so much. This is more, I would say, Kreutzer. So I would, okay. Even I would say it doesn't necessarily have to be fortissimo all the time. You know. So I would I would suggest to play more in the middle and sometimes even lower half and not so much mm -hmm. sort of martelly. Okay, and then also in this one you can sometimes take time. Beginning beginning of Slur, beginning of slur can be a little longer, can have a little accent. And and here also take time for your bass now. Think about the poor viola and cello player in this piece. They have to keep up to you and you're so quick. <laughs> okay, think think again. Um, like in the in, in the other movements, that you are a string trio all by yourself. Okay, start again and, and look at me every now and then, I'll try to stop you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, so... It's more, more so like, what the thing uh, is, what, what do you think? Is it... Or is it... It could be um, the other way around. Like, try actually, it, just for the fun. So you start a mezzo piano and you make a crescendo towards the low G. Mm -hmm. So say, I'm totally today into not violin playing, but in cello playing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. So see the beginning as an an upbeat from as like a crescendo to the bottom. Mm -hmm. Instead of beginning like it's more like uh what's this piece? You know? Um, yeah. It sounds it sounds a bit um not really baroque. Mm -hmm. Just try for once. Begin mezzo, mezzo piano and make crescendo to forte downwards. until bar 11 and then you're sort of getting impatient you you want to get through this but i think the contrary should be the be the case so as much time as you took for this d take it again for the g and then later for the c and then for the f and then for the b flat mm -hmm. don't don't hesitate to to allow your music to breathe and to dance so Every time, take time. It's a sequence. Mm -hmm. Bring it out. 
Yep. You can start there, bar 11, if you want. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, one more thing. Um, oh, sorry. Yep. Um, maybe every first note of a slur you can take a more time you can sing a little longer i'm exaggerating but try exaggerate because i'm all the way in amsterdam <laughs> okay okay That's very nice. It's very musical. Could you start again at bar 29 mm -hmm. and try even again here, all those little slurs, every first note under the slur, you can bring out a little by playing it a little longer. sequences you get a little bit stressed you get a little in, bit in a hurry and i think again bring out every beginning of every slur bring out every um alter the notes in between so every now and then and to play a, low, a note a little longer or a little louder here and there. Okay, start at 29 again, please. Much 
letter. Ja. Goed. Go on. a little longer. You can take more time for those. Then yeah. it, now it sounds a little rushed. Okay? Mm -hmm. This uh, bar 70. Yeah. Exactly. where you can get the sort of the sort of some rest points some yeah. moments where you can play a note a little longer here and there mm -hmm. you already know what i mean now by now so i'm not going to tell every place yeah. you just try oh yes oh sorry one more thing hmm. or 100 or whatever. bar 114 is a little sharp mm -hmm. yeah. maybe start 112 okay Mm -hmm. 
Very nice. Very good. Do you th let's do the last bar once more and see if you can play the chord. You can break the chord even slower. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. That sounds very good. It's much nicer if you break the chord, if you sort of make a round, yeah. then, then it's much more baroque. I think of these angels with this with this bow, this bow, you know, yeah. and, and it's yeah. not like this one that we have. It's very good. I like it. Great work. Thank you very much. I think I think we're done. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because we sort of covered all the material. I hope you got some ideas on how to improve musically these movements. Yeah, thank you very much. It's now much easier to play. Um, Great. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Well, that's even better. Okay. Well, um, see you around maybe next year when we come uh, to visit your place and uh, play a concert with Concertgebouw in your city. Yeah. Wow. That's cool. Yeah. That will be yeah. great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See you then. Yeah. Thank you very much. Bye bye. bye.